Today we're at the final workshop for the long-term conditions year of care commissioning programme for this financial year and we're bringing together the five early implementer sites for them to share what they're doing, to share with us what our priorities are for next financial year. It's been a bubbly session, lots of energy, lots of sharing with one another, there's a general sort of networking going on between the various groups. Today I'm finding really informative and um, it's really good to hear from other sites and take some learning back to my local CCG. Everybody's really enjoying themselves learning about um, integrating care. People are very willing to share, very positive and feels like there's a lot of energy around it. I'm very excited about the fact that for me it's the first time I've seen the opportunity to take a really transformational approach to commissioning of services for people with long-term conditions. There's a massive amount to be learned in this room um, and I think it's about making sure that we do that. My highlight from today is to see everybody communicating, sharing and learning. My favourite part so far really is just uh, sitting and learning about what the other early implementer sites have been doing and gather some of that information out and try and interpret it for ourselves locally. We now have a new accountable officer and a new clinical lead so we've currently been going through a process of evaluating year of care, what we've done to date and how we can use it going forward. Our key achievements today are the integrated working. We've done a lot of integrated working um, before we initially started the programme so it's been able to help us in build on that and push it forward. The early achievements really have been a building of a shared care record which you can currently view across all organisations and working on actually then being able to input to. We have linked patient level data across seven organisations and growing and that's both commissioner and provider data. So our key achievements to date have been uh, the ability to collect and report on data across different providers. When you look at each site, first off you think, well, they're all so different. But when you get underneath that, you find that the problems they're trying to tackle are very similar. It's taken us some time to get different sites working together within their health economies. So the work crosses boundaries of organisations. So to get that happening at local level is really important. But to see it then happen at national level, for me, is a real achievement for the programme. But let's get the debate going. Let's get people heads up and let's see people see the power of link data now is your turn to actually tell us what you want us to do in the future whatever we're going to do here uh, in terms of nationally actually has to be joined up fully we're evaluating a little bit of the overall transformation programme and um, we, we need to be clear where the links are and how it all fits together. We hope to achieve better integrated care for patients so it's really supporting our understanding um, of how we can look after patients in a more integrated way between health and social care. We're aiming to implement person-centred care for patients. Uh, we think this programme helps us deliver that. Underpinning all of that is to improve patient care to deliver better outcomes for patients. What we really want to see and to hear is that it's made such a difference to how they're cared for and therefore the impact on their daily lives. We also really want to make sure that that drives the way our providers are working with people so they experience joined up and coordinated care. One of the things that we didn't consider was that you need to be very clear about the very long term plan. My advice to other sites would be to make sure they've done their research and have a really clear goal and vision of what they want to achieve for the year of care. Um, our advice to other sites during the programme is don't underestimate the amount of time and negotiation it needs to to be able to share data effectively and come up with the right models of care. My strongest advice is to make sure people are really clear and have a shared purpose to make sure that it's not seen as a small project aside from other things and it's absolutely fundamental to the system change we're looking for. We've been learning from each other, we've gone through this process and there's been an enormous amount of learning and shared learning between the sites so learning from others is key. The other thing is working collectively uh, I think we can achieve more than we had done individually. Everything has to be at patient level because they are the building blocks. In fact, you always collect it at a patient level and then aggregate it to, to have aggregated data. Increasingly, health services are, are clearly working with social care um, and trying to understand uh, the impact um, of services across the board. It makes me feel really hopeful for the future and really excited that we can actually make a difference to long-term conditions care. There's a feeling that we're on a journey that uh, we started not quite knowing what it was we were having to do and now I think we've got much more confidence about the shape of the project. It makes me feel really positive. 
and that a lot of the transformation we've talked about but haven't really managed to deliver will be delivered through this. I find it very fulfilling and I like to work with patients to make sure they have better outcomes in their care and I think that's what we all strive to achieve in the NHS. I think we're really proud of what we've achieved. Yeah, the fact we've been able to implement something is a real achievement for us. We're now making a difference for patients. It's a really nice thing to see in, in action. I'm really excited about the uh, future for long-term conditions. I think the piece of work that we're doing at the minute is really going to improve the way we commission our care uh, for people who need integrated care in the future. I'd like to say to everybody who's joined us today, thank you very, very much for your commitment, your tenacity in continuing to do stuff when it's been really, really difficult, and most importantly, for putting the individual with long-term conditions right at the centre of everything that you're doing.